In this example, we'll discuss the space division switch. We use a space division switch in uh, circuit switch networks. And in this example, we'll discuss uh, how to do such problems. I may touch, you know, some errors on the theory, but I'm not going to discuss the theory. So if you have a question on the theory, um, like more details, you can post it and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So we need a three stage space division switch with n equals 100, that's the input, uh, the number of inputs. We use 10 crossbars at the first and third stages and four crossbars at the middle stage. Uh, note here that we are using a multi-stage, um, we're using a multi-stage design as opposed to single stage and using single cross um, crossbar. The single crossbar method, you know, it's inefficient. Although, uh, you'll reduce the blocking factor, it, I mean, you'll reduce blocking the probability of uh, of blocking but they're impractical for many reasons one of the reasons are, is that most of the time not all the connections are used and maybe just 25% of the question uh, of the connections are active at a time so this question asks asks us to draw a configuration diagram so they told us that we have 10 crossbars in the first stage. I'll just draw two. So 10 crossbars. And that's the first stage. Okay. Um, so, how many inputs does each crossbar have? Well, we can determine that by dividing the number of inputs by the number of crossbars. We get 10. So, there are 10 inputs to each crossbar at the first stage. Uh, technically, the first stage and the last stage are the same in the number of crossbars and the number of inputs to crossbars. So, so to verify that we have the correct design, we know that we have 10 crossbars and each crossbar has 10 inputs, so, so 10 by 10 is 100 and that's our value. So uh, the middle stage has 4 crossbars I'll just draw two, four cross bars, and the last stage has ten cross bars, ten cross bars. Okay, so here we know that n small equals ten. In total, we have n equals 100. Uh, now, each switch, each crossbar, sorry, each crossbar from here connects to one. Um, each crossbar here connects to each uh, crossbar there. So this crossbar will connect to this, and will connect to this, and will connect to the other two crossbars that are not drawn here. Similarly, this switch will connect to this crossbar and this crossbar, and the other two that are not drawn. So each switch, uh, each crossbar here um, gets 10, 10 inputs. Okay, so it's 10 by. Now, the same thing happens here. So there are 10 outputs because this connects here 
and connects there and disconnects here and there you shouldn't you shouldn't draw them like touching but uh, you should avoid that so this is 10 by 10 and here it's 10 because we have 10 inputs there by now there are four crossbars here so there are four outputs from this crossbar to the crossbars in the middle so one connection here one connection there and two other connections to the two other crossbars that are not drawn here so it's 10 by 4 and the same applies here only that it's 4 by 10 because it gets inputs it gets one input from this crossbar and one input from this crossbar and uh, two inputs from the two crossbars that are not drawn okay so we kind of have the configuration drawn you can you can make it more organized and um, you can write here four times then you know you complete the things so we, uh, the part B asks us to calculate the number uh, the total number of cross points uh, we have 10 crossbars here each crossbar is 10 by 4 so um, for part B the total number of cross points is 10 the number of crossbars here times 10 by 4 plus we have four crossbars here. Four times it's ten by ten. So it's ten by ten plus um we have ten so it's uh four times ten. So you get this. Uh, Bar C asks us to find the possible number of simultaneous simultaneous connections. Each crossbar here has four outputs that could transmit at a time, and we have ten crossbars, so four times ten is forty. So we have 40 simultaneous connections. Find the possible numbers of a number of simultaneous connections if we use one single crossbar, 10 by 10, uh, 100 by 100. Uh, well, if it's a single switch, a single crossbar, you have 100 connections. Uh, inputs and 100 outputs so each input has guaranteed path so there is no um, there's no waiting so the simultaneous connections uh, are 100 so see this is D 100 part E is asks us to find the blocking factor which is the ratio of the number of connections in C and in D. The ratio in, in C we had 40 simultaneous connections and in D we had 100. Okay, so you can either leave, leave it that way or say that it's 40%. So the ratio is 40%. Okay. Um, that's it for this example. If you have any questions, feel free to post them.